Oh shit, I got sneeze. Uh, that is bad. Uh, uh, uh. So, looking at my things. Uh, Sayed, hey man, how's it going on? How are you? Uh, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, sorry if I'm not able to. Like, is the volume okay? Is the volume and sound fine? Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear the in game sounds, but still. Uh, is it fine or not? Hello, guys. Shuri, yo. Teal, what's up, buddy? <coughs> uh, PM seems like uh, uh, no one is here. Well, a, a few people are here. So I'm really glad to see you guys. Uh, how about the sound? Is the sound and everything good? Like, is the sound and everything good? Can you guys hear me properly? Can you guys hear me properly? Uh, let me know if the sound and everything is right. Sound is great. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, Black Spider-Man, more PV, integrated suit, more PVP. He ignores web immunity. Uh, I have not seen the patch notes yet. Guys, <laughs> I have not seen it. Is it Christmas yet? Well, nearly. It's 21st, so yeah, four more days. Uh, you guys celebrating Christmas? Uh, not really, but maybe I might do. But, but, but. So, can you, uh, can you guess uh, the CTPs that I got? Uh, like, I got two free CTPs uh, right before reset. Right before reset, about like 10 minutes or 15 minutes before reset, I got two free CTPs. Including, <laughs> okay, uh, okay, I'll let you guys guess, I'll let you guys guess. Can you guys guess what CDPs did I get? I got two free CDPs. From where? Well, if I tell you that, it would be, uh, it would be, uh, you can say, obvious, too obvious, okay? If I tell you where I got it. Uh, bro, Beast and Sonic were full on brilliant and still didn't get it. Really? Wow, well, I, I got I got everything on this event, so I'm pretty happy about that. Ah. Dispatch and World Boss Legend. Okay, you are... Ah, nice, uh, some, some nice things. Uh, I think I'll just go for these rewards. So, I'm spending all of my remaining uh, uh, snowmans, if I can. There will be about four to five snowmans which will get wasted, but I cannot do anything because I already got the all the CTPs from this event. Uh, Marvel, no way home. Well, I'm not sure if uh, the, well the hype was amazing. So, okay, let me tell you, let me tell you what I got. So the first CTP that I got for free right before reset was this insight. I got this insight. Uh, I'm still trying to roll this. I got this insight uh, from uh, null stay uh, null conquer level 50. Uh, this chest. I was able to get the null conquer level 50. I got the insight from this chest, and I will be posting a video for that short video uh, regarding that. So I was able to get an insight, and oh my god, that was insane! I was I was gonna post the uh, screenshot on the community post. On the channel, but I did not. Uh, I'm not sure why. <laughs> I was thinking to post this thing, but, but. Okay. The second CDP that I got for free today was a freaking, a freaking mighty CTP of energy from Mephisto stage 39. <laughs> My first ever mighty CTP drop from the world boss legend. And yes, they are real. These are real. I got this one from uh, the world boss legend. I have the screenshot. I will be sharing uh, with you guys in the video as well, as well in the post as well. And I got this freaking mighty CTP of uh, uh, regeneration you can see here. So I got this and I got two extras, which was, I got lime, I think from the CDP chest before, but anyways, so yeah, <laughs> I got this freaking mighty CDP of uh, regeneration, which uh, is amazing, which is amazing. Like this is my first ever mighty CTP from the world boss legend. And at the same time, I hit the 50 conquer level on null. So I was able to get an insight as well. 
more insights are always useful i will give it to probably sif or someone for world boss legend and uh, abx as well so i'm pretty happy and you can see my mighty cdp of destruction is missing mighty cdp of destruction is missing so i had sarsi already sarsi now has the mighty cdp of destruction i gave her because we also got yesterday uh, like right before reset we also not again after reset yesterday i was able to get 20 22% ps as well which you saw in the video i did lose about 20% physical attack but it does not matter ps makes up for that uh ps makes up for that attack lost and in abx uh 20% to 25% attack basically means nothing after 10 million or so so it doesn't matter my scores will not get affected so that that's insane uh he will i'm at 49 also uh, main super giant who has destruction the good choice well destruction i have not used super giant with destructions i think it will perform a bit uh, a bit better than energy super giant but i i still think maybe judgment might still be the best for super giant but still breakdown soon yes i will do a patch notes video i was going to post a patch notes video but my uh some stuff happened in in my real life which is uh because of which actually my youtube life got uh disturbed actually so really sorry about that it was something personal and it actually did hurt quite a bit uh on 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 me so really sorry Really sorry that I'm. I've been not posting regular videos, but yeah, you know, th things happen. Things happen in 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 real life, you know, personal life. I can't do anything. Anyways, I also gave Cersei the uh, four star artifact that I had. It's order. It is not the best because it has increased basic damage dealt to leadership type characters. So it will not work in ABX. It will not work in World Boss Legend. So. I only gave it because it was a four star and it has the same instinct order. That is why I gave her. I wanted the uh, revive passive. That's why I gave her. So I will be changing it later on, but it is okay for now. And uh, I'm gonna be uh, re-rolling this. Uh, I'm thinking to give this might uh, brilliant destruction to Cable for World Boss Legend. I think forty five to forty nine. It will be useful on Mephisto. So. I will be rolling this uh, uh, brilliant uh, uh, brilliant destruction soon. I will make a video. I have a bunch of uh, CDPs like transcendence. I'm going to use transcendent. I'm going to use some patience. So, I hope I get the 240 roll with the, the strike. I'm going to try to get the strike with uh, uh, as close to 200% proc as possible. I hope I get the strike proc. Kya bhai, uh, hope you're okay. Well, I am all right. Uh I don't know man. <laughs> it it hurts. It hurts really bad. So maybe maybe I'll I'll, I'll tell you guys some day later on. <laughs> uh okay. Uh we might with the cable because the survival. Yes, it is, but that's all right. That's all right. Anyways, uh I'm also thinking to do the, Oh my god. Did I guys uh, did I tell you guys I'm almost finished with Tina. I I bought the Gilgamesh epic quest the other day. and i'm nearly finished with tina actually uh i'm here with doing a time limit participate i only have a few of these remaining so i'm going to go for 10 time limit participates so i hope you guys can bear with me uh that's a lot i think i'm going to use it uh yes i'm just going to use it so i'm just going to go for uh 10 auto plays on this time limit battle just bear with me for a little bit more time i wanted to finish uh, tina as soon as possible although I don't have any use for Tina at the moment like literally wow and hella kills my sentry what the hell hella kills my sentry hella kills my sentry what the hell i have to play manually and it oh my god he freaking at the hella artifact as well this is not looking good i want to win this match up come on Man, Hera is really good in PvP. Wow, wow, she almost killed everyone. Well, well, at least my sentry, and Doom dies, and he goes for the this kill. My ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna lose this one. I am definitely gonna lose this one. 
Yep. Um, I'm losing this one, boys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing this one. But I don't care. I- I'm not pushing timeline this week. So, wait a second. How about I do this? If I'm gonna lose, I lose for I lose like with one star characters. Uh, I'll I'll lose with one star characters. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go here and change the team to a one star character team so that I can lose uh, faster. <laughs> okay. This is what I do. Like I don't care about timeline at the moment. Not not uh, not uh, here. Not uh, this week. Maybe next week I'll try and. Auto play plus please stop just just die i want to complete the participant missions as as fast as possible this is the best way <laughs> to if you want to finish it faster this is the best way okay okay once more let's go uh it should be done soon uh where is again pm break up ho gaya kya <laughs> well oh that's pm that's freaking that's that's the time uh you are really close to what i want to say but no i won't say this it is a freaking heart break oh my god shit i, I got my heart broken uh try sorcy no she's amazing in revive well i i guess so she is but i just want to die right now <laughs> do you ever want somnath hey man so i was playing with somnath like he literally played danger room extreme for some time okay uh we were playing danger room extreme and he l- I I told him I'll try and uh, one shot strive. I got him to 30 bar. I don't know why, but even with my 22% peers, I was not able to one shot him. Maybe I need a bit more practice. Definitely I need more bit more practice, but I will be able to do this uh, soon. Very soon and once I get 25% peers, uh I will then start rerolling. slash craft combining cards for blue all attack uh soon so i i will fix it once i get more crystals later on but peers was my goal for now because i wanted to do stage 39 mephisto and null uh carrying those characters like i have to carry uh what is the sentry on mephisto 39 because my sentry has a region it was a bit hard for me with makari and on 39 uh null i have to carry venom so i will be doing those carries now because of my peers so i'm really happy some people said that uh, the rolls were not good and i agree the roll sucks but i can't do anything so okay uh okay six more or maybe five more i don't know yeah a few more just a few more let's see uh what is going on here Okay. Kill me. Thank you so much. Kill this this guy. Yeah, kill this guy. I think if I uh turn out, if I turn down the Okay. Uh okay, I'm going to go manually. It will be faster. You need more practice and use the rotation I told you. Well, the actually the the time I did this was the first ever time when I was successfully able to use the six skill. Otherwise, I always uh, mess it up. Is I always mess it up. But uh, this time, uh, he actually jumped a little bit far from me, and my super giant went to the right side instead of the uh, the downside. You know, for the awakened skill. That is why I had to use the first skill. I did not want to but I had to that time. So, yeah, I'll try. I'll need more practice for sure. Are we done? Woo, we participated. Tina level 70. There we go. 300 bios and 1150 black antimatter. That's cool. Comic card upgrade five times. Okay, I can do this. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Five times. Got to do it five times. So, I'm going to go here and I'm not going to wait wait uh for this so hopefully we are able to do the five times very soon uh wow look at this luck this is so bad this is really bad 3 4 5 come on no legendary card okay we got one oh three 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 we got three legendary cards okay that's a little bit better okay 2 3 4 and there we go five cards okay done the mission is done mission is done 20 tcp 
Now we have reached 25 with Thina's gear. I have already gotten 25 gears of Thina. So there we go. And now we have Dimension Mission Acquire Contribution Reward one time. Okay. So I can do this uh, here uh, just by... Yeah, I'm going to do this. Let's get the Contribution Reward once. I don't have to do this like 10 times. I can do it 5 times and get the reward. But that's alright. And I get Contribution Reward once. And we finish this. And this one is going to be Tamlet Battle win 10 times. What the hell? We'll have to wait till tomorrow to finish this. I'm not gonna waste crystals doing this. So yeah, I should finish Tina by tomorrow, uh, which is okay. So I'll have tier 3 Tina, which is pretty nice. Yeah, Tamlin is the roadblock. I get it. <laughs> but that is good actually. Tina will be a nice leadership in World Boss Legend. Even if I don't purchase, like this uniform of course is gonna be the ABX meta uniform but I think I will be using uh, Scarlet Witch for some time because I don't see a big difference. Like she will be easier for me to do and she will probably score a bit more than my Scarlet Witch even without those blessings. But I think I will just keep Scarlet Witch because I'll have to purchase the uniform and do stuff so and uniform effect only gives something to herself. Maybe if I build Athena, I might build her with like a mighty destruction or something, you know. It would be super cool. And this uniform does not change the leadership. So leaderships remain same. All basic attack and defense by 50 and 20 respectively is very good leadership. So yeah, I'll be finishing Athena soon. Anyways, this is... Uh, uh, Athena is a good solo for World Boss Legend and ABX with Rage. That's true. Uh, she's very, very good actually for ABX, in fact. Uh, so, I'm not sure what to do with all of these things, man. Okay. Uh, I think I I, sh I will be purchasing... St I'll, I'll try to purchase the stock stash next update, but... Okay, let's... let's uh, like, I don't really want to go through this thing. Uh, okay, nice. The dark theme, dude. Uh, do you guys like it? I have the dark, uh, dark theme uh enabled for maul future fight actually it it looks pretty good <laughs> it's not all that you know shiny it uh, the dark theme looks really nice so i have not like i will just give you a quick quick overview before i go man this looks insane i love this <laughs> dark theme is insane okay so we have uh a lot of these things actually dispatch 11 and 12 as well but i think it just uh, i think dispatch just kills your phone i don't even play the player that anymore anyways so uh, we have this uh, Spider-Man No Way Home integrated suit, which is uh, 1050 crystal. I have not seen the effect. So critical rate dodge, pretty nice. Excluding bosses. Ignore enemies damage decrease by 50%. Uh, this is a bit weird, to be honest. It Like, why ignore bosses? Why not just bosses? Why not just give it to everyone else, right? Uh, it has web ignore immunity, of course, which would be really cool. Uh, so maybe you will be able to web a lot of guys as well. If it ignores immunity, it will be awesome. Uh, well, I think it's the same ultimate skill. Is it changed? Maybe? Update Hive, uh, note. Well, I'm not sure if that's like the best update though, but still. We have, 30% uh, of max HP recovery below 40% and grants invisibility ignore targeting for 5 seconds. This is huge. This is actually very good. It will be boss include, it will be OP, well, it needs to be OP. Like, Spider-Man, if he wants a way in the meta, I think he will have to be, he will have to be, you know, it, it would be insane, man. I don't know. So, uh, it's a really good passive, especially that invincibility will be super, super helpful. Like, we know how, how powerful Sue Storm is, right, with that invincibility. Guaranteed dodge rate and increase basic damage dealt to super villain faction by 60%. Okay, yeah, he would be OP if if that was it, if the bosses were included. So 60% damage uh, increase to villain types. I wish it was all allies, uh, but okay, <laughs> it's okay. Let's not be too greedy. Uh, physical damage, stun, we have shock damage, we have accumulation damage dealt. Insane, insane, very, very good. But I don't think he will not be speed meta for ABX, maybe World Boss Legend and PvP. Is all I'm shooting for. Uh, he has no chance in ABX. Web ignored immunity. 20% of max HP recovery. 70 per... Wait a second. 160? Uh, what do you mean 160? What? Sorry, what? 
it's 60 percent uh, not it's not 160 who said 160 it's 60 percent right so i'm not sure what is what you're saying but yeah anyways uh, we got the 70% uh, uh, penetration to everything, which is awesome. Remove all debuffs, which is nice as well. Uh, if he had like when hit remove debuffs, just like Captain America, he would be very, very good actually. But that's all right. Uh, ignore targeting and as well as well. We have uh, V pad while using a uh, skill. Okay, we have Bon as well. So we have the No Way Home black and gold suit, which actually looks a bit weird. Like, why does he look like so skinny? Uh, okay, how many uh, how many of you guys have already watched No Way Home? Like, I want to talk about... So, okay, so it could contain spoilers. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for you. So, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving you guys this time, but we will be talking about Spider-Man No Way Home soon with spoilers. So, please, <laughs> later on. Not right now. I have not... Everyone, watch yesterday. Nice. Well, I have not to go watch it, man. I watched it on the third, on the first day, the third, the evening show. I watched it. I can't watch it because it's not out yet in the Philippines. Oh, I see. Ah, damn, man. It really sucks. It really sucks, man. It was amazing. The movie was insane. The movie was insane. Uh, I, I can only say that. Put a warning so I can, uh, I can leave. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not talking. That's why I said, that's why I, I don't like spoilers. Uh, I don't like to spoil it anything. I spoil anything for anyone. And I don't like people who actually spoil. <laughs> I don't like spoilers. Spoil people. Uh, people who spoil actually. It's really bad, man. Like you are basically just hurting the hurting the feelings of the person, right? It, it's like it's it, it's Marvel. MCU is bound to our wholehearted feelings, man. I can, I can feel that. I don't want to hurt. I, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So... No worries. We are... I'm not gonna talk about any spoilers, okay? No spoilers in the stream, please. Maybe later. Uh, I'll give you guys more time. Or I, I'll just at least give you guys a warning before I talk about anything, okay? You can cover your ears. <laughs> Gosh, continue. Oh my god. Oh yes, so sorry, 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 sorry. Let's let's just continue and then let, let's just move on to the Mephisto and Null stage 39 as well today. And actually, I can do both the stages... Two times each. So I, I found my two clears on each stage, which is insane. Anyways, uh, good vibes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome aboard everyone who just joined. Anyway, critical rate, critical damage increase by 50%, which is nice. But it will help for PvP build Spider-Mans because, you know, if you run like a, a CDP of regeneration, your critical rate might be lagging. Otherwise, it is basically useless because... Like if you are using a, like a energy or a destruction, they already have critical damage uh, built in with the CDP, right? So it's not that useful, but anyways, good for PvP build spideys. Web ignore immunity, same as well. Ignore defense, ignore target dodge rate, invincibility for 10 seconds. I think it's the same tier 3 skill for both the suits. Uh, we got passive, same passive, okay, similar passive to that. Okay, similar tier 2 passive as well. It is guaranteed dodge rate. Uh, yeah, it's the same, similar passive, similar passive. Then we have, uh, uh, let's see, stun, we have shock damage, lightning damage, uh, two damage dealt, and then we have penetration. All basic damage, I think it's the extra on the fourth skill. This suit, uh, yeah, does not have the all attack buff, yeah. This suit has the attack buff, which is 30%. And then we have deal burn damage and then increase basic damage by 100% for attack. So it has the proc and the all attack increase. Other than that, I think uh, more animations could be changed for these skills. But I think otherwise, they seem very similar. Like, I don't think, like, I will not say it's more PvE oriented. Critical damage is okay, but you are getting the critical rate buff on this suit as well. And I think the... The, the red suit will be a bit better uh, overall. But yes, um, the black suit will be a little bit better in PvP. Not huge. I don't expect it to be huge. Unless, unless the spider uh, man tier 3 skill, which I think should be changed. And I, I hope it has actually changed. And man, if it comes in spoilers for No Way Home, I would be damned. If they change the spidey tier 3 skill uh after like maybe two weeks or something so that everyone who has not watched the movie will watch the movie just like they did for the captain america uh uh the skills when they hit the mionin and they gave him the skill reviews or the skill changes 
later on if they do that man i will spider tier 3 could be the most uh, the best tier 3 in the game if they do what i'm thinking they might actually do oh my god uh, so hype no spoilers please oh my god i really want to talk about that i really want to talk about spider no way home oh boy so i hope this is also awesome king ping the new tier 3 uh, the new tier 3 actually is pretty nice uh, all attack well wait a second winter Oh my god. So yeah yeah Kingpin fans maybe you might be able to do this. I'll see if I'm going to purchase the uniform because this is not going to be discounted. This is just like the cable holiday uniforms or the Christmas uh, Deadpool uniform you will have to purchase it uh at 1750. It's not going to be discounted and uh, we we can't really do anything about that. So we have chain of damage increase when attacking. Uh we also have the 100% chance to increase critical damage at 45% on critical attack. kind of like the uh what is that victorious passive so pretty nice uh king pin needed this whom will you give your brilliant destruction to i'm thinking to give it to cable for null 40 uh mephisto 45 to 49 and to use it with cersei maybe which cause i already have uh, mighty destruction on cersei now uh which i might actually take it out and i can actually give like a brilliant destruction to cersei for mephisto like cersei is a menace for mephisto she is insane but her damage definitely drops if you don't have the uh awakened skill on that's why i'm maybe i might just go for cable and remove the mighty energy that i have right now i'll see i have not decided yet i'll have to roll it still so villain allies ultimate skill wait a second king of dark and ultimate skill that's wait a second what the hell it is the ultimate skill uh Uh, you mean the tier three skill, but wait a second. Ultimate skill is this skill, right? It's not ultimate skill. It should be leadership, dude. <laughs> it's not the ultimate skill. It's the leadership for villain allies. What the hell? <laughs> typo. Net marble typos. Uh, it is. Uh, don't get uh deluded by this, guys. Uh, this is leadership. This is leadership, not the ultimate skill. Yeah, ultimate skill. Why would you? Use? Maybe it's just the translation. Maybe they just are stupid. I don't know. Anyways, so villain allies. We have forty percent of physical attack increase and thirty percent increase of HP. Very good leadership, especially for uh, I don't know. Um, World boss legend. If we have like combat villains, uh, it it could be nice for combat villains like Wolverine sucks in World boss legend and. Uh, maker already has its own leadership so i'm not sure if this is this will be like super useful in world boss legend but maybe in the future we might get like really uh, uh, some something some crazy combat super villains like they they are there are really not a lot of them maybe it could be nice for uh, kal obsidian uh, kal yeah i was going to say that it could be awesome for kal obsidian but the hp might help maybe not but uh, maybe it's just going to be depending on the restrictions you know it could help for people pushing mephisto 25 to 29 because it's combat and uh, maker or colobsidian are probably one of the best choice captain america also is there but he's a hero so you cannot use him uh so yeah colobsidian probably yeah then we have self critical damage increase of 30% which is nice ignore target dodge rate by 45% nice uh guarantee critical rate by 25% nice and skill damage so really nice buff for kingpin we have paralysis ignore immunity so nice for pvp and world boss legendary as well if his damage is insane we have we'll have to see i don't think the tier 3 looked really good because it had a lot of hits but i don't think it will be awesome it looked like kind of like you know the sif sif fifth skill when you have like a lot of hits but the damage is not like amazing in world boss legend you know stun we have stun 15% of max hp recovery guard hits which is nice burn damage and silence so he does have all the three things but i don't think can you imagine kingpin replacing uh, apocalypse from the meta <laughs> combat villain abx <laughs> that would be hilarious he has all the uh, all the cancels uh immunity and basic damage dealt uh well damage increase for 100% proc basically for the one attack on the fourth skill which is nice fifth skill again has burn 50% chance to penetrate basically everything i believe and then we have a frenzy buff on this thing as well and the invincibility so overall i think an amazing pve slash pvp buff and rework for kingpin he needed this thing i think for a, every person because this is going to be a once a year sale i myself might purchase kingpin 
with this uh, uniform it's gonna cost 1750 but this is like the quicksilver you know i know quicksilver might not be the best but you can find a place for him like you can maybe if you are pushing shadow lands later on if they uh, reset the rewards if you are using quicksilver in pvp the holiday uniform for quicksilver is the best uniform right even though it is it's not amazing in bulboss legend it is all right it's not the priority pick but still it was a once a year sale so i think everybody should try and get this i feel kind of bad that i did not get the groot uniform but that's all right maybe if groot gets like an awakened skill or tier 3 in the future maybe with the love and thunder guardians of galaxy volume 3 i don't know uh the holiday uniform i think will be the best because we have seen before even if they gave a character a new uniform like cable got the exo swords still cable is mostly used and is most useful with the uh, summer days uniform we know that right so they always do those things so maybe uh, next time if uh, the groot uniform is on sale i'll try to purchase this thing we'll see a really amazing upgrade for kingpin we'll have to see how much damage he does he has all the cancel black cat probably the uh, and actually it is the paywall uniform i think in my opinion guys unless black cat herself becomes the damage dealer and is a solo amazing character i think it's going to be kind of like a waste of crist uh, waste of money uh except if you want to like push abx like up to the max or want white fox to perform uh really great in your alliance conquest teams i think white fox might be a waste because i only saw it once it is going to be amazing for the character okay it's going to be crazy buff like uh it's going to be the white fox level of buff but a bit less useful because let me let me explain why she is a speed super villain so she could take this place for bullseye and because right now we are running bullseye lead and uh, corus glaive for abx if you take care of, uh, if you talk about abx with mystique lead right that is the best team i don't think black cat with this uh is is going to be the next leadership because we have 65% all attack lead and uh, we have i think 25% ignore dodge on zemo zemo is about 400k to 500k less on the score compared to the swap team so i don't think this is going to make a uh, black cat in the speed villain abx meta team at least even for the lead right it is going to be awesome for the character critical damage chain of damage and stuff like that 20% is very very good but uh then let's 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 take a look uh and the other some we have passive we have decrease all buff effects by 80% and duration by 50% so it is the same passive that we had it does not work in abx anymore it used to so i don't think that she could be meta i don't think so uh that is a pvp that is that again goes for pvp then we have tier 2 passive now this is nice increases all debuffs effects by 40% pvp will be the useful thing unless unless you want to use it uh with like a character in world boss legend which or maybe maybe i don't know if it actually helps uh the frenzy buffs like if you have like 40% frenzy buff you might be able to get like a 65 or 60% you know it it might make her in the in the meta but i don't think so it's a 40% of the percentage that the other character will be getting so if a character like bullseye gets 35% frenzy buff it will be 40% of the 35% so that's not a lot it will be something but that's not a lot again it's all debuffs not so not not like all the buffs anyways we have guaranteed dodge rate by 35% pvp and then we have skill damage and bonus damage this is huge but I think Corvus as well as Bullseye both of them already have skill damage bonus damage so I don't think it will be helpful we'll check out if there is any character that will be useful but uh, yeah I think uh, definitely I think uh, all of these payable uniforms are definitely good purchases for end game like in the long run but I don't think I will not be purchasing the uniform I only purchase White Fox once and that's all right I'm not going to purchase more uh then we have bleed stun bind bleed again paralysis uh we have silence as well shock incapacitation invincibility remove all debuffs stun freeze 15% chance to penetrate everything immunity and then we have a frenzy buff and then we have burn shock freeze <laughs> all defense down to 60% 20% max hp recovery and another frenzy buff so 
amazing rework again for white fox as well just like kingpin uh, it makes the character very very good now tier 3 ultimate uh, ultimate skill for kingpin i don't know uh, I, it would be as i said it would be hilarious if kingpin replaces <laughs> Apo- apocalypse from uh, combat villain abx i would be happy but it would be hilarious it would be so cool but i'm not sure i don't want to see like uh, like a 500 pound kingpin <laughs> uh body slamming the beast it would be insane it has uh, bleed silence and paralysis on the tier 3 skill which is very good and with the animation it it seems to be a very very short tier 3 skill and with a really nice burst damage so it should not be an issue to cancel the roars we should be nice then we have invincibility and all attack by 50% for 10% so 10 seconds which is very very good dispatch 11 and 12 which is very very good as well but i don't think a lot of people might be you know you will need a lot of peers to do this because already 10 5 is already very very hard for a lot of people but now with the introduction of refor cdps you can manually do this or maybe a bunch of these character like loki can will be able to do probably 11 and 12 as well maybe makari as well but we'll see about the teams i'll try to do this i'll try to com- uh, complete and uh, let you guys know about the best teams to use okay should you have 60% damage to heroes uh maybe maybe i'm not sure like how they do this but the main rewards will be celestial essence so i think disp- dispatch might uh be worth playing now you know people still play dispatch but i don't feel that the time and the effort and basically you're letting it kill your device uh it 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 impacts your device especially it might not happen in like the high end phones if you have like uh, uh pricey phones because they have like crazy really good performance these phones that we use like the mid range phone like uh, for indian price if i say if i'm using this phone right now poco x3 pro i got it for like 21000 rupees right indian rupees if i play dispatch on this thing for like a month it will slow down it will affect the performance it will affect the live streams you will not see in the videos but you will see in the live streams because live streams is where the phone actually takes a lot of load because not in videos because i just i can just record my voice and uh, screen separately right so it will kill your phone but we'll see if the dispatch is really worth it it's going to be the test reward again it's not like guaranteed that you will get it so i'm not sure i don't think it will be worth it but we'll see dementia rift auto play and auto play plus feature and improvement this is good and bad at the same time i don't like playing dementia rift for 30 minutes i would like clear ticket okay i would like clear tickets just uh, play on lo- uh drag actually i did try uh i used to run on very low graphics lowest brightness everything the the lowest settings that you can play on the game and the the phone uh, the realme x3 pro the older phone that i lost uh it got slower it made the phone slower i i felt it while recording stuff i felt it while live streaming i felt it while playing the games uh it it made the phone slower it did affect the performance trust me and i'm saying that from personal usage and personal experience i have felt the slowness it did it does impact unless you have like a really good phone maybe maybe it it might not impact if you have like the rg phone or something but that's again the the pricey phones uh okay so anyways you can i'm not saying don't play this you can play it i personally am not going to play it because i felt it affecting the phone's performance in the long run it is bad for the phone it kills your phone any task like can you guys imagine people i know and i also ran a uh, dispatch overnight can you imagine your phone how much how much uh, work your phone is doing for like 7 hours 6 hours or 5 hours of straight gameplay even on auto play like literally it's it's a lot and then you wake up you're going to use the phone again so <laughs> it does affect, affect the performance unless you play that and then you give like the phone like a 6 hour gap that's a, that's a different story if you can do that nobody can do that man everybody just wakes up and takes a look at the phone <laughs> so come on <laughs> we'll see about that i wanted clear tickets for dimension rift but that's all right auto play auto play plus that's uh, it will explode <laughs> well the well kind of i don't know maybe anyways uh, it will take a clear ticket which is nice but at least we will be able to play it on uh, uh, auto 
but i don't like it again clear ticket would be fine it will take like forever to complete these things so i don't care about this it will show you how my how many to, uh these how, what is this stones that you have remaining this is the best okay after 6 years of alliance battle or nearly 7 years of alliance battle we are finally having auto play plus for alliance battle normal <laughs> the this uh, alone makes the update the best update of the year i don't care what the characters do i don't care if they add the new game modes i don't care if they if new characters suck or if the new characters are amazing this alone makes the this update the best update of this year okay <laughs> Finally, after six, six and a half years, or maybe nearly seven years, actually, we are approaching the seventh year anniversary in a few months from our future fight. And yeah, six and a half years, we finally have the Audible Plus. Oh my God, I don't have to suffer. Oh my God, I don't have to suffer for a minute. <laughs> uh do that one minute of gameplay that you play on alliance battle normal it is like you know it feels like a millennium it feels like in dak here dude that's so annoying that is like okay my vo- my voice might change a bit just give me a second because the dogs are barking so i don't want them to be get interrupted <laughs> in the voice anyways yeah this is uh, yeah woo okay insane amazing Save team feature, uh, feature. Yeah, save team feature has been added to Giant Boss Raid. It is very good because every single time you go to Giant Boss Raid, it's not like a lot harder. You can just pick it really quickly. But if you want to save some teams, this saves you some time. But yeah, you save some time, and then people will not join your lobby for like ten minutes. So yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you get this or not. Then we have convenience feature have been added into squad battle team setting. This is nice uh, that it will sh- uh, it will showcase which character will be able to give you the best score, which kind of sucks because Hulk. What the hell? Do you think Hulk will be able to score more than you Namor? This sucks. Okay, this feature sucks already. <laughs> I think so. Uh, I don't know. These features have flaws, but I don't. I cannot say anything. Anyways, let's see. New artifacts. We have three new artifacts. Uh, still a. I got uh, brilliant destruction. Finally, still eighteen left. Nice, 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 nice. Congratulations, man! It's always a good feeling. Now we have the new artifact. We have the spidey artifact, which is the PVP artifact. Twenty percent chance to dodge all the attacks, dude. All the attacks, and it does not matter probably if you have ignore dodge or not. It is going to be uh, dodging at least twenty percent of all of those attacks. That is insane. That is huge. Okay, we have kingpin. when attacking all basic attacks by 15% so they know kingpin needs a damage bump pin kingpin needs a damage bump okay this is now people have been thinking that this could make white fox uh, black cat op so probably the most useful artifact as well okay so the the black cat uh gives you all allies all damage dealt to villain types by 10% to hero types by 10% and to boss types by 20%. So basically if you are fighting in world boss legend or abx you will have 30% damage increase because that's boss as well as super villain because i think abx also is called as a boss. The beast is called as a boss, right? But now it's amazing. 30% right? It is a 6 star artifact. The stat is on a 6 star artifact. I know this is still very good even on a 4 star i think you will still be able to get at least 20% but uh i'm not sure if it is worth uh to get this uniform for this passive because you can get the passive even without the uniform right so the uniform does make her very very good but unless you want to use her like for world boss legend for the leadership i don't see any point do not purchase this uniform if you are not going to be using her like for the most part i think i think i will definitely be hunting and trying to get the black cat artifact hopefully i will be able to get some black cat artifact from the chest uh for the free i'm not going to pull the crystal chest and uh, we'll see this uniform definitely is going to be very very good sadly i will not be able to get this uniform on my account because i cannot afford to spend any money on the game right now because i just lost my probably 23000 
rupees phone <laughs> i cannot spend uh, on the game for quite some time so yeah hopefully it makes uh, her very very useful but the passive definitely is going to help you out a lot even if 3 star 4 star will be she can't be used in world boss legend yeah r- not right now maybe in the future if she gets like a transcend skill or something maybe then so right now i will pass on the uniform at the moment but it might be a good purchase in the long run because i think she will get a vacant skill later on Congrats Kosh that's that's not a congratulations I freaking lost my 23000 rupees phone that's not congratulations <laughs> oh my god so I I am really sad actually Kosh I left FF uh, you are wrong I have kept DP on auto but haven't seen any difference also I have never experienced any heat because of the auto really maybe just the phones designs then i don't know but i have used the re- i i only use the realme and the redmi phones because of the cost and the efficiency and they give the amazing specs so at least i have seen the issue anyways it might not be the same mephisto is spelling wrong here bro really uh, i might have sorry i i might have just typed in 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 hurry so i'm sorry yeah it's mephisto yeah uh vicky are you winning this week <laughs> I don't know Wiki are you winning this week? Yo Wiki how's it going? But everything now I think later. Yep. If I buy everything now I'm not sure if I can buy. Black cat can be the new lead for female villain with artifact. Yes, I think I was thinking so uh, about that because apart from the speed villain but I like she could be she I know it's 65 and with the artifact that's true. Uh I think it's just depending on I think. Yeah, you'll have to purchase the uniform. female villain is the thing and proxima will be finally out of the meta forever maybe now right proxima will be out at least as a rage character maybe uh but let's see I- i'll try to do a comparison between the uh, black cat lead super giant solo because it will be super giant solo and proxima and super giant swap because swap is better you know then the uh, solo so let's see if that is actually worth it but yeah it will be interesting and in the long run if she gets it and she will actually get uh, wait a second uh, like like a awakened skill or transcend in the future so it will be definitely nice pro redmi has some issues in like iron box but was a purchase that's true that's true this is the redmi phone the other one actually was real me i love that phone man just auto 71 for an hour dude <laughs> That's true. Seven one is nice, but now the rewards are gonna be nice for the eleven and twelve. So, yeah. is it worth to purchase white for uniform? I have to. I have her at tier three. Man, uh, yes. <laughs> if you have white fox at tier three, please purchase that. Even if you don't have white fox at tier three, white fox uniform is a really really good purchase. Like right now, the white fox uniform is not here for purchase. For I'm not sure. Maybe they might. also give the white fox uniform with the update maybe maybe with the, with the mid month they again might actually give the paywall uniform so if you are looking to purchase the white fox paywall uniform that probably will be the most valuable uniform paywall in the game uh even actually better than white fox in black cat even after this rework and the artifact in my opinion the buff is insane the usefulness is insane ABX World Boss Legend PVP every single game mode, you know. So yeah, it could be possible that White Fox will be available after the update is live, you know, with 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 the all of the uniforms. So maybe. So in the shop, just like before. So yeah, I think White Fox is a really definitely a worth purchase. The paywall uniform, the crystal uniform, of course, is really nice. If you cannot purchase the paywall uniform. and then i think black cat also will be an amazing purchase i will try to do a comparison i will definitely do a comparison between uh these girls for sure and tomorrow i think also is the i don't know what day is t- tomorrow is it uh, well i will be able to uh, let you guys know about the abx and the world boss legend users i'll do that uh, testing for sure then we have the future pass and this is like look at the king pin icon i am not sure why the white fox icon uh the black cat icon did not uh, see well the sarsi icon sorry uh did not i could not see this probably it it was some error or something glitch we have spider man dancing that was really nice look at the king pin <laughs> oh my god santa claus <laughs> oh my god merry christmas to everyone <laughs> merry christmas everyone king pin look at the king pin icon man 
This is the funniest icon in the game. What the hell? Yeah, Silog is the Silog icon in the in the middle. That's that's a, like an amazing <laughs> the smile. Oh my god, the smile. What did they do? Santa Claus is real. <laughs> oh my god. Order play change, it doesn't matter. I don't know. <laughs> Shylock icon. So you can do this just like the ISO 8s now, which is in which is pretty nice. You can check out the upgradable characters, which is still weird. Like it's already really easy to navigate through characters, at least there. But yeah, it would be helpful maybe for some people, not for me. Uh, in the Shadowland as well, Jean Grey, you can search Jean Grey. Yes, you can search Jean Grey. That is nice, actually. I, I One day I was playing Shadowlands and I forgot and I could not find a character. So yeah, nice thing. Extreme Boost ISOs, Extreme Boost Obelisk and 6-star Boost Comic Cards can be used. Now, if you are wondering what is boost comic card, you can just convert the normal comic card, six star or something to boost. And you can use those boost ones for the agent level now, which some people are hurt, uh, hunting for agent level. I don't care. Anyways, auto repeat uh, stop will pop up. We have the improvement have been made to the show. The remaining related supply before specific purchase. Uh, okay. In Tamlin survival, who even plays Tamlin survival? I have not played the freaking game mode for like two months now. Damn. Improvement have been made to categorize specific product as a group that agents cannot purchase more easily. Uh, okay, it will be helpful. The quest navigation size has been minimized and only finished quest will be noticed. When using the navigation again, the whole list will be shown again. Okay, I'm not sure which quest we are talking about here, but that's all right. Error fixes. We have the store dimension chest error fixes. Then we have issue of the chat notice being displayed recruit tier 2. Ah, damn. The issue of the same hero showing up repeatedly. Ah, so we will not see uh, two moonstones anymore, sadly. <laughs> the issue of the craft information text and the number being awkwardly had been fixed. I'm not sure, maybe some people. World Boss Mephisto being pushed from phase two by the knockback effect from... Th okay. So if you guys don't know... Uh, I think, uh, I'm not sure if you have seen the Moonbro videos. Uh, he actually posted the Mephisto stage 49 video. I just saw it today. And, uh, uh when he got, when he went to the second phase of, uh, uh, the Mephisto, when he uses the third skill of cable, Mephisto actually gets uh, pushed away, which actually is fixed now. If you are wondering, definitely check out Moonbro's channel. Definitely a really good content creator. Uh, shout out to him, man. Nice content creator, man. Uh, issue of some explosion effect uh, displayed on third dash pool. Okay, that's weird. Guard pick immunity, which has not been displayed, art exclude artifact passive skill of Hela has been added. Okay. Uh, issue of some tags been displayed. So they have still not fixed the shop. They have not fixed the shop. Okay. If you go here, if I go and make 10x jeans, I cannot skip this. They still have not done anything about this thing. They should definitely that they should they they should prioritize doing some things make th make the user interface a bit more uh, you know I don't I'm not sure time saving I would say and convenient for the players they have still not added the skip button which is really stupid like why you had the chance and you know that you have done this and this is a bit like imagine trying to roll for comic cards and like I have shown you guys before as well if you have to make like uh, hundred of these it, it, like if i have to make like 97 i will have to wait 97 times <laughs> okay to for it to finish i cannot do anything it's so annoying so what do you think of spidey i think a really good upgrade but i think he will be he could be pvp meta with the invin uh, invisibility but we will see if that's like of course he has to have survivability skills if he if he becomes actually 80 meta I doubt he will, but the uh, the passives and everything is awesome. Unless he does like crazy burst damage, he could because he has like 60% damage to boss type, I think super villain types. Could be nice in World Boss Legend and I don't think ABX, but I think World Boss Legend and PvP are the only two things. Maybe meta, could be meta. The buffs are very good. And I can see maybe some World Boss Legend potential with that 60% damage increase. But we will find out soon. So, anyways, a lot of talk. Let's go. Uh, let's go Mephisto stage 39. I will do a video for Mephisto stage 39 best teams and Mephisto and Null stage 39 best teams, which I will be doing soon. So, I'll let you guys know about that. So, uh, now, 
before i was not able to carry sentry now i can do freaking carry sentry i can carry sentry now so what i'm going to do now is uh, i will be using this team up i'll go with sentry lead and white fox as a support for my beautiful beautiful makari with a mighty cdp of energy again these clears are with minimal odin's blessings i literally have no odin's blessing on sarsi damn uh that is insane makari sorry makari and the uniform also is ha huh, let me try and let me get this uniform to mythic wait a second let me get this uniform to mythic uh because i think now i i can i can do this i can get this uniform to i think i should have enough uh, bio uh, bios now yeah i was just missing a little bit more okay now i think uh, nice now i think mythic is makari nice i have been waiting for this a, a bunch of time that's insane she is even stronger now and it is already rolled physical attack so i'm going to keep this uh it already is rolled physical attack so i'm going to keep this i do have this dodge rolled up so i think what i'm going to do now is i have to make a few changes because i changed my cards a bit and guys by the way what i'm doing right now and don't get me wrong and don't get deluded by this thing i had 14% peers Makari can do stage stage thirty nine Mephisto without artifact, without Odin's blessings, with a mighty CDP of energy. She can. It probably will be even faster if I run like a mighty destruction because it's actually better than mighty energy, I believe. So, and without the artifact, without Odin's blessings, she can do Mephisto thirty nine uh, at fourteen percent peers easily, it's like super easily. Even if you don't have White Fox uniform, it will be. a close call but she can clear this so what i'm going to do is now is uh, i have too much ignore defense too much ignore defense too much ignore defense so like always ignore me your old troller is back anyway <laughs> i'm not ignoring you dude i just miss that hi kosh gf washi i don't have a girlfriend i've i've told you like millions of times come on get me a girlfriend <laughs> One month now, I got free time. Nice man, it's good to see you back. So what I'm gonna do it now is, uh, uh, I have, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I guess I'll pass on some dodge. I'll, I, I think I'll just pass on some dodge. Uh, yeah, I'll pass, I'll pass on some dodge and I'll go give him, give her some critical rate. Okay, some critical rate should be nice. And I think I'll need one more. Yep, seventy-three. I'll need one more. I, I'm gonna just remove this one, and I'm gonna go for critical rate here. I I don't care about the dodge because that's all right. So I'm maxing out everything now. So beautiful. Uh, you have a two-star urus, WTF? Two-star urus on 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 who? I have two-star urus. Oh yeah, I actually just just gave it so that well, it was maxing it out, so it was it would have been just a waste. So I just gave it. Anyways, so what we are gonna do now is uh, let's go and clear this thing. Okay, enough, enough, enough. And this is without artifact, by the way. This is without artifact. So stage thirty nine, Mephisto. Let's go. Let's carry Sentry. This is the challenge for stage thirty nine. Carry. Uh, you have to clear with Sentry five times, which is what I'm doing right now. So let's go. Stage thirty nine. Uh, we'll run this lead, White Fox, and we will go with. The, Yeah, uh, it's it's okay amount of supports. I can I can actually do it without maybe four of these supports. I can just do it with with like one support. But anyways, okay, I'll just remove one of these. It doesn't matter actually. So I don't know. Uh, I'm just doing it anyways. So uh, okay, I'll go with physical attack. Do I have a physical attack character here? I don't have a physical attack. So okay, I'll just run it. Mephisto thirty nine coming in. It's gonna be an easy clear. Definitely an easy clear for sure. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, is a real deal. <laughs> My next transfer character, uh, Levi. Sure, 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 sure. Yep, I watched the Spiderman No Way Home day one, sixteenth December. It released in India sixteenth December. So I watched it day one, the evening show. It was awesome. Let's go. Let's clear this. A bit bad because he jumped, 
but that's all right. It was a bit my mistake. I hope the volume is fine. Let me know. And what? Yeah, you can see I'm not even trying to use the fourth skill. Fourth skill uh, gives trouble and is not good for your procs, guys. And we are not able to get him down. This is the bad thing. I think that this is the first. Uh, because we could not get the first awakened skill. Nice. This is why this actually happened. Usually, I can clear this phase up until now. I should have been done with this phase uh, at the moment. Yeah, this was a bad run. <laughs> like a really bad run. I think the first awakened skill damage was totally out so awesome damage look at that insane damage insane insane pretty good we are maintaining the procs, which is pretty nice. Probably the most important part is maintaining the procs. I lost some damage. I cancelled my third skill a bit earlier there. And... Yeah, look at that. We broke the shield. This is what I'm talking about. I can easily broke the shield uh, if it actually comes down to like this. And it is nice. Some nice damage. Okay, the proc was late. So I'm gonna just use the first skill to bail. Pretty nice damage. And look at the damage now. With the awakened skill. She shreds. Look at that. It was a late proc. <laughs> she shreds. <laughs> oh my god. And that is one support. That is freaking white fox. Just one support. Look at that! Insane damage, folks. This is real. Insane, like. And... Nicely done. He's gonna go for the phase. That is alright. One. The two. And I, I could get caught in this thing. The four. And nice. Uh, requirement for 39 Mephisto are leadership characters. So you have Sharon Rogers. Look at the damage. Oh my god, she killed it without the fourth skill. <laughs> oh my god. Makari, man. I'm so happy that I invested in her. Totally worth. Totally worth of character, man. She's meta or ABX as well if you're using her for rage. And even with her mighty destruction, she can do insanely good in... Like, even with the energy, she can score 10 million on my account. Uh, with the with energy. And with a beatdown energy, not even a all attack energy. Look at the damage. Makari or Moon Moon? Uh, I would say they are both very very useful. So it's really hard to pick one character. But like if you are into Danger Room Extreme, then I will say Moonstone. Because Makari will be a little bit harder to one shot. I have tried that. I am not able to one shot with Makari. Okay. We can do... It's bad. I should have gone for the skill, man. Okay. He's gonna go for the... He did not. He did not. And... Lower... We were able to get amazing amount of damage in. Seven bars remaining. It's gonna be a very, very comfortable clear. Like, insanely comfortable clear. And, you know, you can just use the first skill to just bail. It's so easy to, you know, uh, just run around. With Makari. And I use the 4 skill. Okay, we are nearly done. We can do it with... Okay, that is insane, man. Like, what What more can... More, what more do you want? Look at the score. Look at the time. 135. With one support. <laughs> 135 with, with one support without any golden blessings. Pierce is insane, man.
Rage and DRX? Well, I could, but is it really worth it? Somnath request? <laughs> MS and Volvo then... Mm. And waste your 800 crystals? Yes, Rajan. <laughs> uh, okay. So we did it twice and then one more clear, one more clear. Uh, this is the team up that I'm going to use. Okay. So, Jaws Whitey, hey man, how's it going? And everyone who I have not been able to say hi to, welcome board. So, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use Ghost Rider Leadership just for the 50% fire resist because otherwise Mephisto is just going to one shot me. Sharon Rogers still has a very hard time. I can use my cable, but my cable does not do that well against Mephisto. He just dies and probably I'll need a destruction. Uh, he has a mighty energy right now. So, let me show the builds on the characters. So, Sharon Rogers is rocking 1, 3, uh, 2, 3. 3 HP Odin's Blessings and a bunch of HP Urus and a mighty energy with a 6% beatdown. And we have uh, Miss, the new character. I have just started using Cersei today. So, Cersei has no Odin's Blessing, just the HP Urus. And I barely was able to max out all these stats. And uh, she has the artifact though. We have the 4 star artifact for Cersei. But the artifact is not doing much. I will try to get a better artifact. Uh, it does not help. And she has a mighty destruction with the max roll. 120% boss damage increase and 200% proc. So very good. And the mythic uniform. Which is pretty nice as well. Right. And uh, let's go. Let's try this out. We'll just use this uh, as here. I don't want to give insight to <laughs> Ghost Rider. And let's go. Uh, I'm going to use these uh, characters because none of them are going to be used on Null Stage 39. Because Null Stage 39 is villains and none of these characters are actually villains. So I'll try to roll uh, differently. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to go for this thing and uh, let's go. Let's go. Stage 39. Let's go. Give her my destruction. Well, I'm going to keep the energy for now. For now. We'll start with Cersei. Okay. No. <laughs> no accumulation. Bad start. Once more, once more. We'll do this once more. As long as I can get the accumulation. It's very easy to easy to get the accumulation on um, Fisto though. For Cersei. Because he's always like moving too much. And we got the accumulation and we got the proc. I guess we did some nice chunk of damage there. Oh shit. Oh no no no. And we could not use the... This is bad. <laughs> we could not use the accumulation. And I, I missed my tier 3 skill. Because of that. This is bad actually. And get the tier 3 skill. This is bad, but I cannot do anything right now. I have to switch. We got the accumulation. And we were able to break this thing. Wow. I did not even have to use this... Uh, uh, well, the Cersei Awakened skill, I, read, I believe. And we're gonna take some good health. Well, chunk of damage here. And I made a mistake here. Ah ha 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 ha. Well, ah uh, yeah. I'll restart. I made a mistake there. I had to wait for the awakened skill. Like I'm still learning this thing because this is, this is still my first time playing with these characters with swap play. Like this is literally the fourth time I'm playing this. This team up. I think we did get the accumulation. Okay, Sharon Rogers can die here. But we survive. Somehow. Somehow. Tier 3 skill, come on. Proc, proc, proc. Hey, proc. Okay, let's do this. We 
Accumulate and we get the truck. A bit late, he's gonna go for the phase. I can't do uh, I can't really do anything, but I should be able to break it. It was faster on the other one. I'll use a tier 3 skill just to be safe. And I wasted that. <laughs> yep, I wasted that. We'll wait. And we get the accumulation and look at the damage, Cersei! On the roll! <laughs> Cersei is insane, man. Once you get to this phase, she's very, very good. I'm gonna switch to Sharon Rogers for now. Just to do some extra damage. And Sharon also does... Look at that, man. Accumulation rocks. Like, this is risky, but... I think this is the best way. Oh my god. This is bad. Okay, Cersei can die, but I'm gonna accumulate damage. <laughs> and do some crazy stuff here. She could have died there. Oh my god, that was risky. That was risky, definitely. Okay, we'll go... Nope. She could die. She has very low health, so I have to be very careful with both of these characters or they will just die. Like, this is the only thing that I don't like about this team, is that it's totally dependent... On... Oh my god! <laughs> this is why I don't like this team. Like, it, it is so squishy. They are so squishy. Like, Mephisto just kills you in a flash. Oh my god, this is, this is insane. That's insane. Okay. We get the accumulation once more. Flash OP. <laughs> and they are so slow, man. Tier 3 skill, please! Proc is late. Oh no, this is bad. Gotta wait, gotta wait. I'm not sure if I was able to accumulate, but I did, I think. We broke the shield, so we did. Okay, next up we have the tier 3 skill. Here. We uh, activated that and... I cannot switch, what the hell? I wanted to switch to Cersei that time. And accumulate damage and do some nice chunk of damage from there. That is very very good. I'm just gonna roll out this and I'm gonna switch to Cersei here. Because she's a bit faster than Sharon Rogers so it will help me out with these bubbles and now what we can do here is just come with Sharon Rogers and try to do something epic which is not dying basically okay let's go once more I could not the beatdown proc did not activate I don't know what 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 happened there but the beatdown proc did not activate We got the accumulation. Look at that, without the awakened skill, Cersei still does insanely good. Okay, one, we can still do this, we still have a bunch of time remaining. Uh, it was very close when I cleared this, but the first time. But I think we can do this. Ah. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh my goodness, what the hell is going on here? Okay, we did it. Alright, switch. Oh 
Oh no 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 shit Oh my goodness Oh my god This is bad Like really bad The hell What What happened dude Can she do this? I don't think so. She won't solo this thing. Yeah, I don't think she can solo this thing. Nah, no no way, no way she can solo this thing though. Yeah, she can solo this thing, dude. Uh this is why I don't like this team. Hmm. I'll do one null stage 39 just to cheer up. Okay. So the first one that I'm going to do is uh, try and uh, venom. Okay. Uh, I'll do the venom. So uh, I'll carry venom, but I need to probably unequip the uniform for to carry venom to the villain uniform or the zombie uniform you can say i'll have to do this if i want to carry venom here all right this is the first time i'm trying this so let's see hopefully we will be able to do this uh, like what should i do i think 45 percent hero dodge is actually better than cyclops i believe so so i'm just gonna use uh yeah yeah i have another support i believe wait a second Ah, I have actually sub a bunch of supports here. So why am I? I could try using. I could try. Yeah, I'm gonna try using this uh, team up. I have not. I have never tried to carry Venom actually on stage 39, which is a bit hard for me. But now I have a bunch of fear, so I'm not sure. It still should be hard, but still. And of course, we did like about crazy damage. Super giant for you. She does insane damage, man. Okay. And like literally she, I think she, she does have accumulation though, right? Now see this. And look at the damage. Pretty good. You're able to get some nice damage. 41th bar. Gotta try and not die. Toxic meteorites can be really toxic sometimes. <laughs> okay. Nice. I'll use the uh, transcend skill. And we get him down. So yeah, 351. Definitely she can do this. She can also do this without uh, double support. So let's see. I switch because I am afraid that... Like last time I did that, uh, I actually died. Because I wanted to try something out. Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. It should work. Should work uh, now. The plan is to just uh, try to get him as close as possible. Yeah, it's a mighty judgment. All attack. It's not the type. It's not the best for world boss legend. It is the all attack judgment on super giant. I also gonna die. She's so good though, man. Uh, like even with with this all attack judgment, she's very very good. Okay, she nearly died there. I have to be very very careful. I should not die. And there we go. Push him to this 20 second bar. Nice. So like she can be a bit squishy sometimes, but damage man. She can put out some decent amount of damage. Crazy. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this out. Toxic, I hate toxic meteorites. And we were able to get some nice damage. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. 
and she died. See this? Oh my God! See this? She died. So 17 bars. She can definitely do this. She's squishy though. Do do this with Sharon Rogers. Two, three, five, one, four. Well, two, one, three, five, four also works. Actually, it's it's all about the timing, man. It's all about the timing. New rotation. One cancel. Two cancel. Three, four, five, six. Sure. And this is without a freaking insight. She's doing insanely good, actually. <laughs> She's doing very, very good, in, uh, actually. She's so powerful, man. She's literally one of the best characters in the game to build. Like, even this is a ABX build on her, okay? I have a bunch, uh, few Odin's Blessings and... Uh, like... I don't even have the type amplification, which is the best for world boss legend. And I'm still racking this thing like nothing. Look at that. Don't die, don't die, don't die! <laughs> I had to switch. I switched in desperation of trying not to die. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to Super Giant. Well, uh, Prog's amount to do, deal some nice damage. This was a bit scary. I, I did not want to die, man. Okay, that is cool. Oh no 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 no! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Okay, so uh, Proxima got it uh, right. <laughs> I was able to do this. Now what we're gonna do is we'll do one rotation, but we can die here. Okay, so we're gonna bail in Proxima, and then Venom. <laughs> That was not... Ah, no, 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 no. That is bad. Okay, late proc. Nah, very late proc, man. The damage... The damage totally got destroyed. Super late proc. We were not able to do anything. He can still kill me. Okay, I'll try not to die. He ha I still have this uh, thing going on, so I want to try to... Avoid it as much as possible. Okay, nice. I had to use this. There was no other way to do this, but that's all right. We pushed him to the second phase, 20 second phase. Dying is an art and I'm the artist. Probably best artist out there dying. Oh my shit! Why? Why did he ki he kills her, man? He kills her so easily. This is so annoying. What the hell? Okay, let's clear this thing. I'm so sick and tired of things now. I want to freaking clear this thing. Okay, just wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, I just ate my magic biscuit. <laughs> I will clear this now. We will, we will now. Nice proc. We skipped the phase. We skipped the tentacle phase, guys. Wow. That doesn't really happen often. That is bad. Now you do you don't really usually do this, you know. So nice proc. And got some nice chunky damage as well. I wish I had the type amplification, it would be so much easier. 
Like it, it's like a piece of cake if I had like the type application. Type is super strong in World Boss Legend. Okay, not the best rotation, but that's all right. And nicely done. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see what we go. What happens here? Okay, I'm gonna do one rotation. Polish the real magic. Okay, my I don't know what happened, but Venom. Well, Proxima was not available there. Some ni some ni some damage. Uh, just to chip 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 chip. Okay, nice proc. Okay, I could die there. I, I almost I almost died there. Don't try this guys. At least not like this. So what I'm gonna do now is Switch because I don't want her to die here. And this is actually very good. Proxima able to take a lot of hits and not die. And I want to save this awakened skill for the after phase. I'll have to go through this. I'm definitely very very late uh, compared to the other run that I had. But this is probably the best way. He's gonna jump but we can take him down to the second phase without a jump. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. This is gonna be very close. Uh, we are really late on the scorecard at the moment, I believe. Switch. I'm gonna do some extra damage. I'm trying to just chip away some damage here. And I could have died there. I had to. Okay. So we are at the uh, 12th bar it could be I don't know could be close uh, I guess it's all gonna depend on how much damage we will be able to do later on so what I'm gonna try is we have still have a bunch of time I'll just instant cancel the transcend skill to get some extra damage in with the buff and do this Probably my worst mistake. No, 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 no. I thought she was gonna die. Okay, so we have right about 30 seconds, which is very bad. Actually, we should have about 50 seconds here. Uh, in, just in case if you want to do some extra damage. I don't know if that actually helped, but okay. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I think we are gonna be out of time here. And we have a late proc. Super giant able to get to the th third bar. Come on! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! <laughs> zero second remaining! Zero, zero, zero! We did it! <laughs> what? Zero, zero, zero <laughs> remaining. Last, maybe microsecond or something. We did it with zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Time was nearly up. Oh my goodness, that was... <laughs> wow. Zero, zero. <laughs> That was the, like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs>
okay i i can do maybe do this uh with her maybe a bit faster now i guess but zero zero are you kidding me like how many times it, it was super close it was very close i i was i don't know <laughs> oh my god okay let's do this stage 39 as well here as well so that was pretty nice zero 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 like how like have you guys ever done or and cleared any stage of world boss legend with like zero 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 remaining i have done that i think three times now or maybe two times or three times proxyga damage uh itna kharab kyu hai uh she has a rage i have a rage on proxima if i had like a mighty destruction or mighty energy she would do a lot of damage it's a rage that's why okay nice chunk of damage okay we can set up for the tier 3 skill here proc and we got the proc okay i did a mistake <laughs> my uh my transcend skill is not ready <laughs> Okay. And able to get it. We got it as just as he went there, we were able to get it done. That is super cool. It got disrupted the timing though, but that's all right. Okay, he's going to do this and then we'll go for the tier 3 skill. We receive some damage, but receive we receive too much damage. Look at her go, and we could not. I don't know why. Third skill accumulation did not trigger. Wow, it did not trigger. We could have done maybe five more bars. That was stupid. The accumulation did not trigger. Like I don't know why actually this happens, but uh, it happens sometimes. <laughs> He kills my Sharon Rogers. Oh man, man, man! I had a girl but I thi. Oh my God, nice. So we can try cable, but I don't know. I just don't want to use him. Ah, uh, Lovish. Hey man, how's it going? That's insane. Okay, we got the accumulation and nice damage. Okay now set up set up for the next Got the pro get the Later than usual Okay now wait wait I think I activated the pro early Yeah I think I activated the pro early man This is not good okay wait 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 let's wait Yeah, I activated the proc early. That is bad. Like really bad. That is bad. Boss by no way home. Bichara Spidey. Okay, don't don't no spoilers. No spoilers. People are here who have not watched Spad. Ah, uh, no way home. Some are here. Okay, so please no spoilers. Okay. Let's go. We did receive some damage here. Let's go. Do one more please, one more attack. Thank you so much. We got the proc. And okay.
we broke it. We broke the shield. That is nice. I'm just gonna go straight for the tier 3 skill, not waiting for him to attack. Very good damage. Oh my god, this is insane damage, man. We did get the accumulation and see the damage after the accumulation. Super, super cool. Okay, I could die here, so I'm just, I'm just uh, taking precautions. Kosh is just taking precautions at the moment. Without the awakened skill, still does decent amount of damage. Now I have to land a nice transcend skill after this phase. And we did land the transcend skill, which is pretty awesome. Will we be able to get to the ninth bar? Moon Knight, uh, Moon Knight is not like the best character anymore or, you know, priority. I would not say like Moon Knight is a priority character. Priority. He He's probably not a priority character anymore. This sucks. Charge up that. Charge this thing once more. I'm just gonna spam. Uh, it's not looking like superb, but we are man managing somehow. And I also want to get some HP here. And Sharon Rogers will die if it hits me. Oh my god! Nearly died! Nearly died! Nearly died. Nearly died. Nearly died. Get the tier 3 skill in. Now it's our time to get accumulated and do some chills here. We did accumulate damage, but the proc was very late or maybe we just freaking missed the proc. Oh my goodness. Okay. We can do this once more. And he kills my one and only freaking hope. Nice. Yeah. No, man. It will not work. It will not work. Man, I'm just having a very, very bad luck with my Sharon Rogers right now. Uh, I can try cable or... I can try cable. Let me try cable. I think cable will be a... Worse option in my opinion than Sharon Rogers. That's why I'm not doing it. Huh. Anything else I can do here? I don't know. Maybe I needed Thena leadership. Uh, Thena can be used here, right? So if I had Thena tier 3 already right now, I would be able to get like the 50% leadership. Which is what I'm missing right now. I'm missing a leadership character right now. It's kind of bad. Maybe I should have saved the White Fox for this one. Update color? Yep, update is uh, Moon Knight is Moon Tide now. <laughs> Proc karne hai kaush agar hella hote. Hella. Okay, we got... Get the accumulation. Let's see if Cable can do anything. Better than Sharon Rogers. The good thing is that Cable... Uh... Does not care about the accumulation. Charge that accumulation once more. Got the accumulation. Deal some extra damage, switch to Cersei. Let's see, I, I think Cable does way less damage compared to, you know, someone like Sharon Rogers. But she's our, uh, he's our best bet at the moment, so. Got the accumulation. And look at that! Beautiful! Beautiful proc.
Look at that. This proc as well, man. Oh my. See. Oh my God. This is see. Uh, I used the third skill. Mephisto got pushed away. This is what uh, devs are actually gonna be fixing after this update. Cersei actually can take hits a lot, man. A lot better. She's tanky. She's tankier than uh, a bunch of these characters. Okay. Fourth. And we'll go here. And... Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Such bad damage. <laughs> so, like, the damage is super bad. Damn, did you see that? Oh my god, Cersei! <laughs> Damn, Cersei! What the hell, Cersei? Cersei is doing insane damage right now. What the hell? I think I found a better rotation for Cersei. This is gonna work. Look at that! Oh my goodness, she is doing so much damage! Wow! That is cool actually, I would like to wait. Uh, Cersei is better than Sharon Rogers, at least for, uh, who, who's that? At least for Mephisto she is. She is for Mephisto, in my opinion. If we can time it right, we might be able to just solo this th whole thing with Cersei. Look at the damage. Pretty nice. Once more. Cersei, beautiful. Okay, second. Cersei worth building well. I have Cersei right now and you can see what she can do. So. This will be the, without the proc and now I just need to get hit. If I can get the accumulation, I can do this with Cersei. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Oh my god, that was super bad. I got guard broken actually at the very end. And look at that! Accumulation and boom! The boom comes right after the accumulation. Oh my goodness, this is very close. This is gonna be very close, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cersei solo. I can try Cersei solo. Oh no. Oh no. 10 bars. 10 bars. Nope. Stupid second character. Okay, this is freaking without support. Stupid cable. Uh, yeah. Cersei is man man. Uh, it was all cable's fault because the damage was not just not enough from his end. And every single time I switched, it was really bad. So, yeah, kind of really really bad bad luck. Can't do anything. Okay, I gotta try this once more. Cersei is doing insane damage with this rotation that I'm using right now. Probably the best rotation you can use with Cersei. Proc is very very late. Did I accumulate? I did accumulate. Nice. Ooh, did you see the damage at the end? Oh my goodness.
Come on. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. Not like perfectly, but we did get the accumulation. <laughs> the damage is insane. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the normal skill damage. <laughs> that was the normal skill damage from Cersei. Man, she can die, man. Sharon Rogers. This is the issue with... I'm just not getting the support from the second character. Is all ha is actually happening here. Now what I can do is here. Here is... Normal skill damage from Cersei. Freaking stupidly overpowered. At least the damage. And I have to switch. And look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Cersei! Ah oh, man. Oh boy. Now come on guys, like you gotta, you gotta give her, give her the credit, dude. She's insanely powerful. Okay. See the damage now! Come on, come on, come on! Ah, it was not enough damage accumulated. Damn. Okay, we'll take it one more. Go for the tier 3 skill and see how much damage we can do. This is without the accumulation, but we should be able to do some decent amount of damage. Okay, two, three, four. I'm not sure if that was a good idea, but yeah, we were able to sneak in some nice damage. Ah, oh, ha, 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 that's bad. I cannot use the Awakened skill here because I don't want to waste it. Okay. Come on. See this. See this. Oh my god, she will do it. Nice. Sharon Rogers is history, I guess. <laughs> First, the second, we just gotta time it right, right? If we can time this thing right, no accumulation, but we are able to do this. Nice, nice, nice. Did you see the end damage? Because we accumulated at the end. So the damage was insane at the end. Come on, accum uh, accumulation. Sharon Rogers, you can do this, man. <laughs> Come on. Sharon Rogers, Sharon Rogers. Don't, don't tell me that you can not do this. Nice. Woo. 10 seconds remaining. No support. Uh, stage 39. It can be faster depending on the Cersei's accumulation. Again, this is probably my like, I have only played this team for like uh, 10 times, 8 times on this stage and this is insane man. The damage was insane on Cersei. Uh, it was a mighty destruction. So again, Cersei with accumulation better than Makari. Sharon Tier 3 has 100% charge up. Yes, it does. But you have to get hit. If you don't even get hit once, it will not charge up to 100%. Cersei with Kaushik Kursi, Swada kya? <laughs> Sharon Fisto. Uh, it's for your sure. Kaushik Sharon Tier 3 has full accumulation charge. It has full accumulation charge. But, guys, understand, okay? This is a lot of people don't understand. And I can, like, I can uh, share with you guys, like, the results if you guys want. If you do 3 cancel, 5 cancel Tier 3 without getting hit even once, it will not charge up. Because... 
it will charge up once you have some accumulation charge up from the third skill you have to at least get hit once at least get some damage in then it will take that damage and take it to 100% it cannot take it to 100% if there is no damage taken understand this like this is why like you know why her skills are so like this are like the reason why she does not have a uh, eye frame on the fifth skill is to accumulate damage the reason why the third skill is super good because it also does not have eye frame the reason why fourth skill does insane damage because they are not eye frame and st she can still accumulate while fourth skill you have to at least get hit once then accumulation then it works perfectly you know like you you can definitely try like do a, a tier three rotation like a normal tier three rotation with the Sharon Rogers three cancel five cancel tier three without any custom gear nothing just see the raw damage and then you the three cancel five get just one hit maybe and then tier three skill the damage will be a lot better you can test it yourself I've tested that before trust me share my fist talk I kill you concert character use karu uh 30 percent peers uh you can I did well, I think I had maybe 8% peers or something when I did 29 Mephisto. I don't know. 8 or maybe, I don't know, 9% or something. I don't know. I don't remember. You can check out the video again. I used Maker with Mighty CTP of Energy uh, that time without Odin's Blessings. And I was able to clear stage 29. Call Obsidian probably is the best character. I have 5% battery. Damn. Uh, Call Obsidian basically is the best character, I believe, for Mephisto. For like probably the best, one of the best uh, combat villains in the game with this uniform. So Call of Duty probably is the best, but I never used him. So I cannot, you know, give give you guys any uh, any tip on him because I have never played him. But I did with my Mr. Fantastic slash the maker. You need this uniform uh, because it's actually calm. Uh, this works. And so I used him in the leadership. I used Valkyrie and I used Thing. I had Thing, but you can also use... Uh, Taskmaster. Like you can also use Taskmaster if you have her. I think. Wait a second. Stage 30. This right? So. Yeah, not, not this. Wait a second. 25 or what? 25, right? You said 25. 24 Mephisto. Oh, 24 Mephisto. Sorry, 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 sorry. 24 uh, Mephisto. Wait a second. I was talking about the combat. So, by the way, now, uh, I guess uh, if you are using Call Obsidian, Sif will be the leadership and the support and Valkyrie would be the best team up. For 45, uh, 25, sorry. I, myself, I did it with uh, when I had about 8% peers or 9% peers. I did it with the cable lead. I had cable lead. Uh, I had... Uh, where is he? Okay, now. Yeah, I, I could not actually do this. Uh, I think it was Cable Lead, uh, Cy not Cyclops, what am I talking about? Yeah, this was the team up. Uh, there was this team up, this was the one team up that I used, Human Torch, lead Leadership and then him. Uh, he can solo this thing, but I like Human Torch team up because sometimes you can die and you don't, this team up is insane man. This team up probably is one of the best team ups and you can use maybe a support if you have a support here. Uh, I guess this team up would be your best bet to clear this. Luna Snow can also clear stage 24, depending on the peers, depending on the build and everything. And Iron Fist also is a good option if you want to do some burst damage, but I think this would be the best team up. Or, I like to use like this. It saves me one support, which is Wave, which I can use with other team ups. And Thing just gives better damage to him, and Falcon is just amazing on Mephisto. So, but right now actually I'm thinking to take out the energy from Mephisto and maybe try to make a brilliant CDP of energy if I can. Uh, I'll need some uh, energies actually. So I'm going to try that soon. Uh, what's your favorite Spidey and villain combo? Uh, Spidey and villain combo? Uh, I would say, well, <laughs> man, it would contain spoilers, man. No way home, man. <laughs> it was insane. Uh, uh, no way home is 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 I would say well I think you know the story was insane the thing was that okay look let's be honest no way home action wise 
and the way it actually ended in a few things you know the way uh, it basically ended i would say uh, right before it actually ended uh, some of the climax scenes were a bit like a, a bit not up to the mark it could have been better it, it could it could have definitely been better i think no way home definitely is the best spiderman movie of all time uh maybe yeah, because of of course yeah uh i don't want to talk about any spoilers anyways so but i think action wise and if you uh, take about that i think far from home and the fight with mysterio was a bit better in my opinion the way the climax was sh- uh, shooted or the climax was made in the far from home was better than no way home but overall the hype and the craziness that over uh, that actually no way home brought i don't want to give any spoilers actually made it, made it the best spider movie of all time probably you know probably that that was that what's such best thing about no way home miles morales was such best thing about home. well uh, well there was like somebody said like okay uh there was like okay <laughs> somebody said okay like okay if you guys don't want to hear this please cover your ear- earplugs or something uh it could, i'm not sure i'm not sure i don't think it's a spoiler but i'm just going to talk about it so you just it's just a sentence so uh cover your ears so basically you know when when he said uh who was that i think somebody said yeah <laughs> when electro said like i'm sure they could be a black spider man he was basically talking about miles morales dude miles morales that was really yeah definitely like like easter egg maybe we might actually have uh mcu miles morales video actually it would be dope that would be dope man Then spoilers on how I know the movie. <laughs> Don't say this. I'm buddy suggestion for the next transcendent characters. My genius L E A V A E Levi. Uh L E A V A E L E A V A E. Next transcendent character, right? Okay. So Hmm, so you got uh, do 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 do. uh you have super giant him hmm hmm uh makari buddy sarsi or maksarsi and makari sarsi and makari in my opinion uh you can go makari makari would be insane uh yeah makari or sif sif also is a good option uh because it also gives you a support as well so sif makari and sarsi maybe not sarsi because uh, i think makari would be enough because sarsi is i'm i'm using sarsi now i did not use sarsi before i would say go for makari and sif right now only reason i would say sif is because i can see you have 2% peer so you are struggling to maybe clear or maybe push some of these world boss legend so makari will help you a lot with that and uh, yeah I, i i think that would be it uh, i i would say human torch if you have a judgment is a really good option as well but i would say safe and makari because safe can be leadership as well as a support if you want to use her as a support and that would be nice of course try to get as many supports as possible task master on the list as well so yeah that would be pretty cool actually white fox is a nice op- nice option actually but still call obsidian uh you can go for call obsidian but i prefer supports over characters because like Okay I have 3% battery that's all right so so this is male so you can use calopsidian here and you cannot use calopsidian here on stage 15 right and then male uh, hero male so you cannot use calopsidian here and then female you cannot use calopsidian so calopsidian you cannot really use until stage 35 null after stage 15 you know So that's a big difference <laughs> uh, on null and on Mephisto. Uh, you can't use Calopsidian after ten. You can use Calopsidian after fifteen to nineteen. Then hero human you cannot use Calopsidian here. Then you can. Then you cannot. Then you cannot. So Calopsidian is good, but I would say because of the restrictions, it's just not a good purchase for most of the players. depending on the restrictions that you can see so you can use calopsidian uh, uh, until the stage 15 then you will use him on stage 35 which is like super high right 
and then you have like you can use him 0 to 10 then 15 to 17 and then maybe uh, 15 to 19 or 15 to whatever it is then you can use it like 25 to 29 and then later on so Kalapsirin is a good choice but I think he's not like a commendable choice in my opinion because he just cannot be used right uh, my opinion would be Makari but you can also uh, you can also go for Human Torch and Falcon. Falcon can be used from stage 1 all the way up to stage 24 Mephisto. Falcon can be used on 24 stages. Stage 1 to stage 24 restrictions. And also Falcon can be used from stage 1 up until stage actually 24 as well on null so i think falcon is an amazing choice but he's a tier 3 skill he asked for uh transcended i'm not i did not check if he actually had the uh, falcon as well so uh human torch also can be used same because uh, he also can be used on all of these restrictions actually up until 1 to 24 so human torch makari supports as well sif probably the best because it will help you out in my opinion go for supports first sif probably the best option then maybe you can go Makari as a damage dealer and then maybe we, we can go for like Taskmaster for another support. Or maybe White Fox as well, another support. I always love support man. People say why build support? I have like all the supports in the game. I I might just not have like some of the paywall supports. But I have other than that I have like all the supports in the game that I need for World Boss Legend. There is not a single support that is remaining. Only support remaining right now for Transcended is actually my Hela. At least for a leadership and actually uh, Sif, which I will be transcending soon for World Boss Legend. Although I don't need her right now. That's why I'm not transcending her right now. Supports man, awesome. Kosh, uh, your opinion on Tom Spidey and Willem Goblin? Am I going my opinion the best? Man, Goblin man, like literally man. Green Goblin, no way home. Nailed it. Nailed it man. Same energy, same thing man. Then he was the real villain. He was the real villain, basically, of the movie, man. The the, the acting, the ev everything, and actually this this the suspense, the climaxes, man, man. So many unexpected things, but although it kind of gave us a hint that he might actually pull out something crazy, but man, yeah, they they did they did Green Goblin nice. It was awesome. I know it's two percent. My phone is dying. I know, but I I'll make it. <laughs> I'll I'll make it. Uh. I'll probably do the... Okay, I'm gonna put this in charge. Okay, we are charging now on 2%. Should I give her the brilliant destruction? Brilliant? Uh, I'm not sure. Brilliant? Uh, maybe, like, if you don't use Luna, she can also be used in ABX with brilliant. Uh, but, like, I was doing stage 13 and Mephisto with my Makari with 14 peers. With a mighty energy without any Odin's blessing, without artifact, legendary uniform. So I don't really think that you need a brilliant on Makari. Or not not really. And I was able to do stage 20 on Mephisto super easy with Makari. With the same setup. And yeah, so I don't really think that you need Makari. Like I don't think you need a brilliant destruction on Makari. I don't think so. Unless you want to use her for uh ABX and you don't use Luna anymore. That's that's another story. Uh, if you you can use her like that, uh, she would be able to score pretty much closer to a Rage Luna, I believe so, or maybe bit bit less, maybe depending on the procs. But you know, I don't think you need that. Message not uh, popping World War ABX. <laughs> I don't know. You should teach your message to poop properly. Poop properly. Uh, previously, okay, I will. Uh, the best thing about No Way Home was that Iron Man was still dead and, and not a zombie. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I, 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 I'm I super happy that about that. Give your first mighty energy to Sharon Rogers, Falcon, or Makari. Hello, dude. What's up? Uh, good afternoon. Yesterday, I watched Spider-Man No Way Home. It's on, it's on fire. It's amazing. I know, man. It was an amazing movie. Energy reforge it to uh, someone. Well, en reforge energy is an amazing option for Falcon, as he said. Uh, Makari also an amazing option. Uh, Sharon Rogers probably I would say is one of the best options because I have st I have energy on Sharon Rogers since she I, I think I, I had like a 200% damage proc and then after that I gave her a CDP of energy 
and then I reforged it. I have never taken out the CDP of energy from Sharon Rogers. She's still worth it. I just still, I just am using Sharon Rogers still on stage 13 and Mephisto. Yeah. So yeah, I think you should keep it. And he was laughing. I did something in my band. Well, it was insane, man. Oh my God. They even uh, mute good words, bro. <laughs> I don't know what I can do. Okay. Man, that's true, man. Goblin, he was still laughing, dude. Like it really, you know, but it's, it's like, <laughs> man, it, it just gives you goosebumps. I wonder, I was in the freaking theater. He was freaking punching and he was freaking laughing. Oh my God. The, the, that was, oh my God, the goblin laugh, man. He's the best goblin of all time. Nobody literally cannot, like, it's like the Iron Man thing. As nobody can replace to, uh, Robert Downey from Iron Man, playing Iron Man, nobody can replace and pro- nobody can be better. Then the original Green Goblin, man, he was insane. He did better than Spider-Man. Oh my God, literally. He did way better than Spider-Man, man. Maybe it is what it's called experience and maybe, man, I don't know. He's a senior actor, man. He was amazing. Your sequel? Man, I don't know. I, I did not even get like a news of Matrix Resurrection. I went to the theater and I saw the posters of Matrix Resurrection releasing. What the hell? Already, I, I feel like it will not be like an amazing movie because it was not a hype, man. Tom crushed it, man. Tom's uh, Tom, Tom's role, man. He definitely nailed the role. He definitely nailed the role. Amazing movie. I loved the suspense, emotional, climax-wise, action-wise also. A bit a bit underwhelming, I would say. But yeah, some, some, some sorts of like... It's not just action in the movie, but definitely the whole movie should be the crazy movie. I, mean, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying, but man... The whole movie was insane, is all I can say. Please go watch it right now. He's proper Spider-Man. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. He now is definitely proper Spider-Man. I'm so happy. I'm really so happy uh, about uh, about everything. Actually, the suit, the 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 actor, and everything. And now, dude, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> the next Spider-Man movie is gonna be spoilers. Cover your ears. The next Spider movie is gonna be Venom. So it's gonna be super super cool. And Venom is not gonna be the partying, party pooping Venom. It's not gonna be a party pooping, a joke Venom. It's gonna be the villain, the original Venom probably that we know. So it's gonna be insane, man. No way, we have released Matrix Direction. So who can see it? That's true, that's true. Goblin Dog of Rivers, exactly. And man, another spoiler. Please cover your ears. And the, the thing was that, man, Dr. Octopus saved the movie. <laughs> Dr. Octopus saved everyone, okay? The, the, they would have all be dead if Dr. Octopus was not there. John Watts is a uh, next level golfing. The whole trilogy was Tom's origin. Uh, bro, we thought. That was insane, man. We thought it. Uh, it's after the origin. Well, it was insane, man. Like, everything. Like, literally at the end, I, f- I thought another spoiler... Cover your ears, please. Cover your ears right now, please. Just, just five seconds. Count to five and then cover your ears starting from now. I literally thought Toby was gonna die in the end. What the hell? So, yeah, now you can, uh, uh, like, not cover your ears, please. So, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I hope you did cover your ears, please. That was a big spoiler. Uh, when is ta- when, when, when actually that happened? You know, this actually happens. Anyways. Uh, anyways, folks, I guess this is going to be it for the stream. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one and, uh, we'll do more. I know I would, I was not able to do the stage 39 on null. I will be doing with the, well, I did not even try. Uh, I will just be doing the Moonstone solo basically. So the movie changed the timeline for all the other spider Exactly. 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 And Doctor also saved his tentacle and his tentacle. <laughs> oh my god. I loved it. I loved the, the scenes and everything, man. It was really... Man, literally, we... We... I, I could not record. I did not record the reaction in the theater. I still have a, actually a vlog that I made, but I, I did not post a vlog uh, on the channel. I did not record the reaction. We were freaking screaming in the theater. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It still is giving me... Spo- uh, those goosebumps, man, is really amazing. That that's insane, man. <laughs> that is insane. Anyways, 
So yeah, I would definitely urge you guys to please go watch the movie. I really want to talk freely to everyone. Uh, so that I I don't really want to give you guys any kind of spoilers. So please go watch the movie right now, or you will catch some spoilers here or there. Please trust me, it happens. So, anyways, folks, go watch the movie. It's amazing, and for the stream, it's probably gonna be it for the night. Thanks a lot for the. Uh, Make Spanish three is uh, trending everywhere. Exactly, exactly because of. Well, I know, I know, I know everything. I know it's 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 going on. Anyways, I'm not gonna talk about. <laughs> anyway, guys, Tom Hardy's Venom. I'm not sure. I don't think like maybe because like Venom two confirmed that Venom. Like this was the first time I actually got to know that Venom can travel into the multiverse. Right? Venom can travel into the multiverse without doing anything. Literally, like how can he have so much power? Literally. So maybe if uh, Tom Hardy actually goes to a different multiverse and then maybe something happens or for the future Spider movie Spider Verse Miles Morales maybe I don't know because every single Spider Man has ha- have actually had a Venom a counterpart right so anyways uh, let's not talk about let let's not let's not uh, talk about it anymore with that said production was Chomu in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. I really hoped a bit more action, but that's all right. Multi was a madness. They even gave a spoiler, man. It was like a trailer. They basically gave gave a trailer for these uh, multi was a madness as well. So it was amazing. Pretty amazing, guys. Anyways, folks, take care and uh, thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. And of course, without you guys leaving before that, of course, don't forget to leave a like on the stream and. Uh, Of course subscribe if you're new turn notifications on as well and I'll see you guys in the next one stay safe stay healthy wash your hands wash your feet wash your butt and I'll see you guys in the next one Dr Ninja Gaming yo thanks a lot for following buddy all the support is appreciated itni jhand english jhand Anyways, take care. See ya, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll get you later, guys. Take care. Peace. Bye bye. And I'll try to make like an outro, like a good outro for the videos as well as the uh, streams as well. So let you guys know about that. Anyway, guys, take care. I'll probably do the tomorrow stream. Yeah, sure, probably, probably. I'll show you. I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'm thinking to stream on uh, uh, Twitch tomorrow, so I'll let you guys know. Anyways, guys, take care, and I'll do some account reviews later on as well, later on this week. So, brace for that. Anyways, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Peace.